Ernie. They're gonna put me in the mood. It's my mind. Ron Ernie, special mixing from the Mix Master. Got a Duffy's tavern, where the elite meet Pete Archie, the man just speaking. Duffy ain't here. Duffy, you'll never guess what I was doing last night. Well, this will kill you. I was listening to classical music. <laughs> yeah, but this Carnegie's Hall, they had one of these here uh, symphonies. Symphony. It's a Greek word, a contraption, you know. Uh, sim meaning music, and if you can figure out what phony means, you got it. <laughs> well, I was just about to read what the critic says about it. I'll call you back. Yeah, weird, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, what do you think of this here classical music? It'll never take the place of the good old Chinese water torture. Oh, sure, right. The concert was pretty bad, huh? Oh, horrible. At the end of the thing, you know, the band all got up on their feet while the leader was standing there pointing at him. How come? The dirty coward was trying to shift the blame. Oh, that's so bad. Why did you get up and leave? Well, somebody had to stay there to boot them. You booed them? Certainly. What the other people do? Well, they agreed with me. Every time I'd boo, they'd holler, of course, so I'd boo again. Well, let's see what the critics say about the concert. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a review by Professor Carl Mulhauser. The epitome of virtuosity. Impeccable technique. Glad to hear that he thought it stank, too. <laughs> the quintessence of dynamic interpretation. Even worse than I thought. I got news for you. What? Professor Mulhauser liked it. Well, it's a pretty sneaky way of saying so. Archie, there's another deadbeat over there. A deadbeat? Uh, Charlie, throw him out. It's a woman. Oh, well, then I'll throw her out myself. <laughs> Listen. Who oh, Daphne? This Duffy, this ain't no deadbeat. This is Daphne, the actress that was here last week. Hello, Archie. Oh, gee, Daphne, glad to see you here. Still acting in that stockyard? <laughs> That's a stock company. Oh, that depends on which way the wind is blowing. Uh, I'll pay this bill personally. Okay, Diamond Jim. Thank you. Now, tell me, uh, what did you have to eat, Daphne? Well, let's see. I had soup and salad. Soup? Sirloin steak with vegetables. Coffee, marmalade, toast, cake and pudding. One small orange juice. Ten cents. <laughs> I guess I can handle that. Oh, but I intend to pay you back. Oh, perish for <laughs> bit, Daphne. Me, a lover of the arts, take money from an actress. Oh, I'm not only acting now. You see, I've decided to become a chanteuse. Well, little religion never hurt nobody. Chanteuse is a singer. Oh, oh, that kind of huh? Yeah, well, uh, you should have a very good voice for it. I... How do you know you haven't even heard me sing? Oh, Daphne, one does not have to break into Fort Knox to know that there is gold there. You're very sweet. I know. It's a shame that you're not the boss here. If you were, you could hire me to sing. Who ain't the boss here? You mean you could hire me? Well, you see, I got this partner. Uh, he, he don't have much to say, of course. Sort of a silent partner. You're hired. Oh, what a lovely surprise. Surprise to me, too. Hello, Duffy. Duffy, don't be sacrilegious, will you? I thought you were Duffy, telling singers you're going to hire them. Well, what about it? Who's to deny me no? Hello, Papa. Aren't you acting like a stupid big shot? Well, he just hired a girl to sing down here. Just give me that phone. Hello? 
Well, I did, yeah. Huh? Okay, boss. That's telling him. What are you talking? He said I could hire the dame. So you can hire the gal, huh? Yeah. All I got to do is guarantee enough customers to pay his salary. Well, Worm, how are you going to squirm out of this one? I'm going to squirm it some way. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. Annual singing contest. Mrs. Abigail Piddleton of the 3rd Avenue Lord Byron Ladies Literary Society will present her annual singing contest tonight at Melody Hall. That's it. All we gotta do is transfer the contest to Duffy's Tavern and a joint will be packed like Mrs. Piddleton's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And stay out, you bum. Listen, you crook. Uh, what? Richie, my dear boy. Mrs. Piddleton, I'm sorry. I thought it was that other slob I just threw out. Yeah. Uh, sit down there. Like your carcass. Gee, you're a sight. Come here. Well, Archie, once again, we two disciples of culture meet on a sphere of rhapsodic affinity. Yep. <laughs> Ain't we the devils? Uh, by the way, I see your names is throwing a musical, huh? Yes, what about? Uh, why don't you have it here at Duffy's Tavern? But Archie, the tavern is so... Oh, you know what I mean. I guarantee we'll throw out every spittoon in the joint. Uh, and speaking of class, culture and stuff, uh, I was at a musical last night at Carnegie's Hall. Really? I was there, too. You was? Yes. Did you hear that uncouth ruffian? Which one? Why, that disgusting rowdy who kept booing. Oh, him. Yes, uh, I, uh, I think he was a veritable cad. Uh, in fact, I think they should have extracted him. Yes. Imagine interrupting that divine music three times. Four. <laughs> By the way, speaking of business, I don't understand it. Why do you want to hold this contest in Melody Hall? A crummy, filthy, dirty fire trap like that one for... Half the dough, you can have the same thing right here. Archie, the tavern lacks culture. What do you talk lacks culture? We're lousy with culture. And we're ballast. <laughs> I'm hey, sorry, Archie. Look at this, me old friend, Professor Mohauser. Carl Mohauser, the big music critic? Yeah. Do you know him? Oh, well, like two peas in a heart. <laughs> How would you like to have Professor Mulhauser judge this singing contest for you? Carl Mulhauser judge our contest? Do you think you'd be getting? Well, if he turned me down, it'd be the first time. <laughs> it's a bargain. It's a bargain. Well, I think I'll toddle along and notify the girls. Au revoir. Au revoir. Don't spit into the wind. <laughs> Uh, Professor Mohauser, please. He's busy listening to an opera? Uh, well, uh, please wake him up. I'd like to talk to him. <laughs> oh, Professor Mohauser? Uh, well, I don't know whether you remember me or not, but I was at that concert last night. In the third row. Well, you remember a little fat, dumpy, jerky kind of a guy with a mustache that was uh, clapping in the middle of the music? Well, you remember another guy that slugged him over the skull with a shoe? Well, that was the one was me. What? Well, don't be so sensitive. You didn't even bleed. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hmm. No Mulhauser, no contest. No contest, no packed house. No packed house, no Daphne. No Daphne? Daphne? I got to find a dummy judge. Uh, I, uh, I... <laughs> Professor Mulhausen, you watch your language, Bob. I mean, you're just the man I'm looking for, Professor Mulhausen. Can you shut it again? Let <laughs> me explain this. You see, Professor Mulhausen is a German music critic. He was supposed to judge a contest for Mrs. Piddleton. Now, the idea is I want you to be Professor Mulhausen from Heidelberg. 
the noted Eye, Ear, and Music Authority. What, you got it now? Got it. I am a German Heidelberg named Professor Piddleton, and I got Eye, Ear, and Music. <laughs> Shake your head. <laughs> you feel better? Yeah. Good. Now, the main thing you got to remember is that the winner's name is Daphne Drake. Yeah. Who's she? Who's she? Daphne Drake? Penny. You take the most beautiful eyes and you put them together with the most beautiful lips and you place them on these curvy shoulders and you tack on this gorgeous body and you got Daphne. The arch, what holds it together? I don't think, but whatever it is, I like the way it's doing it. <laughs> now, you are the judge of the contest, except that I tell you what the judge. Right. I mean, right. Right. Gee, Archie, I've never been in a singing contest before. Well, don't be nervous about it. Just try to think of it as a tug of war with tonsils. <laughs> Besides, I'm reasonably sure that the judge is going to pick you as a winner. Why? Because I'm going to pick the judge. But isn't that crooked? Only if you're a loser. Archie, are you busy? Yeah, get out of here. Oh, Miss, excuse me. Archie, I want you to meet my niece. She's the soloist in our singing group. She looks like the whole Glee Club. What's your name? Bertha. Bertha. That Vegas. Bertha, dear. Bertha, this is Archie. Archie, this is Bertha. <laughs> I'm awfully glad to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad to meet you two, too. Bertha is a very talented girl. You know what she's devoted her entire life to? Eden? No, singing. She's going to be in the contest tonight. About the contest. Could I speak to you in private? Okay. Here, uh, <coughs> have a seat. <laughs> Um, Archie, I was wondering, could it be fixed? What? I mean, could the contest be arranged? Mrs. Piddleton, are you suggesting that I indulge in chickenry? Oh, no, I only really meant our Oh, I am taken a guess. I will have you know that I'm conducting an honest, decent, legitimate contest here, and I'll book no finagling. Let's put it this way. My Bertha is going to win. And if she don't? We ladies will take our contest to Melody Hall. Archie, Papa wants to talk to you. Hello? The daughter's got to win a singing contest. Well, what if she don't? Fine. E and I got a headache. A headache? Why didn't you tell me before I started singing? I didn't have it before you started. <laughs> Some people think I have a beautiful voice. To wit? To wit my singing teacher, Yasha Parnaslavnik. He thinks I have a very good ear for music. Please, sing out of your ear. <laughs> what happens if, pray chance, you don't win this contest tonight? Just two things. Papa will beat you up, and then he'll fire you. Now leave me alone. I'm going to take a singing lesson. Say, right in. Uh, Professor, what's my name? Carl Mulhauser. Oh, yeah, that's the guy yeah, from Piddlebike. From Heidelhauser. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, Arch, I, I got this mustache from a Halloween costume, and I got a dress suit from Cavendish the Undertaker. Better save the box for me. Not that anybody ever asked me, but I got an easy way to solve your problem. How? 
Well, here are the three girls that's got to win the contest. Miss Duffy, Bertha, and Daphne. This one is Bertha. That's right. Now, you make love to Bertha and persuade her to stay out of the contest. Mm -hmm. Then you bribe Miss Duffy's singing teacher, and you ask him to keep her out of the contest. And the winner is... All right. Ketchup is the winner? Shake your head. Oh, Daphne is the winner. All right. Lovnik pupil fixing it up was to judge. It's disgraceful. Confidentially, I'm tonda. You're tonda? You better explain it. Look, I'm in kind of a hurry, so I'll give you two bucks if you can keep that dame from singing tonight. What? You want that I should destroy her future? I should prevent her from becoming a big opera star? Yeah. Give me the two bucks. Not until I hear you tell a dame yourself. Okay, okay. Oh, my little onion. How long have you been studying with me? Six months. Good. You're now ready for the most important part of the Panya's Lovelick method. The most important part? Yes. The year of silence. For a year? That's right. Does that mean I can't sing in the contest tonight? You catch on quick. I refuse to tell. A two dollar bill. Just what was left in the register. It belongs to Papa. Oh, the dirty archie. I thought so. Well, you're both going to be surprised. I'm singing tonight and I'm winning. Maybe I should have taken up medicine. It is arranged, isn't it? It's in the bag. Uh, uh, Bertha. Come here. I want to talk to you. Here. Take the load off your feet. <laughs> Love bug, this may come as a surprise to you, but the minute I laid eyes on you, I said to myself, I said, Archie, there is the biggest thing in your life. Why, Archie, you just met today. <laughs> That's it, fair one. Rapid are the wings of love. <laughs> no one's ever talked to me like this before. <laughs> what do you have the reasons I got? <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? A man and the singing contest all in the same day. <laughs> That's another thing I want to talk to you about. You see, if you go into this contest, say you win it, you become famous, you go on the stage, what happens to our happy home? You're liable to be away when our children are born. Well, Archie, what can I say? 
Say that you won't enter that contest tonight. But... It's either your career or me. Archie, I'm yours. Don't move up that ash can. Well, ladies, I'm glad to see you're all happy and eating. <laughs> Don't let me interrupt. Don't go ahead and make pigs of yourselves. Oh, Archie, where is Professor Mulhausen? Yeah. <laughs> well, here comes Professor Mulhausen now. <laughs> Well, Carl, how good is Sandy? Heidelberg. This is Professor Mulhauser. I'd like to ask the professor a question. Does it require an answer? Of course. Well, yes, Professor. Who do you consider the three greatest German composers? Uh, Ein, zwei, and drei. <laughs> well, the witch's hour. Uh, the hour of the muse of classical song. Tis said that music hath charms to soothe the savage beats. I hope you ladies will enjoy it. <laughs> and now for our first contestant, the beautiful, gorgeous, sensational, perfect stranger to me, Daphne Drake. The winner is Daphne. <laughs> Commencing now is the contest now. Oh, oh God, don't it, please. Sing, Daphne. special prize for this contest that the management is offering a week's engagement at Duffy's Tavern. Now, in as much as there is only one contestant, uh, by hook or by crook, uh, I think it's obvious, even to our judge who wins the contest, that the winner is... Just a minute! Where did this apparition come from? I haven't sung yet. What about your year of silence? Do I sing or do you get fired? Ladies, I am forced to announce the pleasure of Miss Duffy, Mezzo Barracuda. <laughs> I'm a dirty liar. I've had about enough of this. Either you announce that she's singing or announce your engagement. Following Miss Duffy, Mezzo Barracuda, we will have Bertha Piddleton, middleweight. <laughs> <laughs> Sing to you and 
just a little cuckoo. The order by society, the contest is now finished. The winner is Peter Piddleton. Don't cross you. I'm sorry, Arch. Me sentiment's got the best of me. That's the song me mother sings when she rocks me to sleep. You, you two-timer! You still have me. <laughs> What's up, I ain't fired. Oh, gee. You figure with a dame like Big Bertha singing here, the joint would always look crowded? Not smart, Captain. You know, you're a big thinker. I said thinker. <laughs> look, Captain. I'm fired again. The top.